all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel and um, we're going to have a look at a British coming of age comedy drama film today which uh, was done about three years ago I think two and a half three years ago obviously with all the Covid thing it's only been shown at festivals as I'm recording this on the uh, 4th of June 2021 but uh, it should be out for streaming and available very very soon so today we're going to have a look at uh, a film called Our Ladies please if you're new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bar notifications there's various links coming up on screen for Facebook and Twitter uh, my little uh, website as well places like that so please check that out if you can and also look at the playlist and see my stuff on my football team Manchester City as well so and then if you can give me a mention anywhere else if you know any city fans or if you know any film buffs or TV fans uh, give give you can push me and give me a mention that'll be absolutely fantastic so just check the links on screen right comments all welcome on this film if you get to see it it's well worth a watch i'll say that now and of course if you don't have time for a comment just give us a little thumbs up it's nice it's nice to get views but it's nice to get uh, thumbs up as well right our ladies yeah an hour and 45 so about an hour and 35 to 40 uh, uh run time allowing for the credits etc uh directed by michael caton jones who actually wrote the screenplay with a guy called alan sharp based on alan warner's 1998 novel the sopranos yeah nothing to do nothing to do with gangsters uh yeah it's just uh, just happens to be called the same thing so there you go and it's about uh, a group of Catholic schoolgirls. There we go, 1996 we go back to. It has a true story feel to it, this as well. From the Scottish Highlands. It might be a true story, actually. I've not actually checked up on it, but obviously it's one of these where they give you all the information at the end and you don't know if they're pretending or they actually do give you the correct information. So uh, my apologies, but uh, I've not got it down as a true story. Anyway, they're from the town of uh, Fort William in the Scottish Highlands and they all get an opportunity to go into Edinburgh for a quiet competition with the with their uh, sort of lead nun in charge uh, but they are more interested in drinking partying and hooking up than winning the competitions so typical young teenage girls then obviously uh, it stars Tallulah Grieve as Orla Abigail Laurie as Finula Rona Morrison as Chell Sally Mesham as Manda Marley Sue as Keela Eve Austin as Kay and Kate Dickey as Sister Condren. Yeah, poor Sister Condren. She has to put up with a lot. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, there's only 13 critics have uh, posted a review on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's getting 100% positivity and overall gets a, a rating of 7.5 out of 10. Kevin Maher of The Times said, It features five of the most compelling, neatly drawn and slightly terrifying female protagonists committed to film. He's, he's spot on there. Uh, Catherine McLaughlin of The List said, To his credit, Kate and Jones has created a coming of age that feels like it could have actually existed in the 90s, it does, as it recalls the humour and chaotic group dynamics of films like The Commitments or Train Spotting. Yeah, that's the sort of level we're looking at, but obviously a slightly uh, toned down younger version of that. Uh, Jamie Dunn from this The Skinny so wrote the film's chief selling point is the rebunctious chemistry. There's a there's a word, rebunctious chemistry between this ensemble and their authentically crude banter. Yeah, Internet Movie Database, yeah, Joe Public. Well, we've only just 101 reviews, so we're not masses of them, but it's getting a 7.1 out of 10, so that's not too bad at all. And 86 of that 101, I mean, they might be all the cast and crew who did it, I'm not too sure, uh, are all scoring at least 6 out of 10, so uh, six, 6 and upwards. So that's 85% of the people, uh, the Joe Public, you and me, that watched it, uh, obviously liked it, because that's my watchable score, of course, 6 out of 10. Yeah, my little thoughts here, yeah, it's definite, definitely for fans of things like The Commitments, but uh, more recently, I think the, the closest I can, comparison I can make is probably uh, the Derry Girls uh, series, if you watch that, obviously, it has that sort of feel to it. It's crude, yes, it's crude, but it is entertaining. It doesn't always keep up the pace, but uh, it does have enough to be an enjoyable watch and some great acting and some chemistry from a, a, obviously a mainly young cast. Uh, the exception to one of the exceptions to that young cast is, of course, Kate Dickey, who plays sister Condron, who needs, who I need, I think I need to mention because as, as for the first time since perhaps Audrey Hepburn and Julie Andrews, I've I've actually quite enjoyed a role of a nun in a movie. But there you go. Well, well I sort of forget the sister act movies as well. But uh, there you go. So all, all credit to Kate Dickey, as sister Condron. I, I, I felt quite sorry for. Her. I think I thought she played a, a good role. I thought I thought she was. Uh, I thought she was pretty good to the girls, which is not what I'm what you usually get with nuns, do you? They're a bit, a bit, uh, oh, not always portrayed as nice and kind, but 
there you go. As I said, it was great chemistry between the girls and uh, most of the boys, I think as one of the critics said there, d didn't know what hit them. Most of the boys and men didn't know what hit them and uh, they certainly uh, would have frightened me if I'd bumped into them in a, in a pub in Edinburgh, that's for sure. Uh, and there's also a few good songs and tunes thrown in, so there you go, it's uh, into the mix. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of good singers, I think I think they sung their own stuff, Some a couple of good singers on, on, the, on the cast as well, so that was really good. But yeah, a nice, nice little UK offering, as I say, it is what it is on the tin, it's a little bit crude. It's teenage girls out for a laugh and out for something else, which I won't say the word to, but uh, there you go. It's uh, quite interesting and entertaining. I did enjoy it. I'm not going to go quite as high as the public score of 7.1. I'm just going to give it a, a very watchable score, I thought, because as I said, it did... It didn't quite have the legs to fill an hour and 40 minutes, to be honest with you, but uh, there, were, there were elements in it where it sort of slowed down in pace and humour. Uh, like 20, 30, 30 minutes or something like that. But uh, it was always very watchable by the, the start. And the start and the end were excellent. There was a bit in the middle, got a bit slow, but uh, overall, uh, well worth a 6.5 out of 10 in my opinion. So that's what I'll give it anyway. So if you get a chance to watch this, please have a watch and let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More important, let's all look after each other till we meet here again on the Film and TV channel. All I ever say to you is please stay safe everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.